So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. Following the excitement caused by the emu's apparent laying of a golden egg, winter's approach caused a chill to grip the high country air. The man prepared to journey south to the warmer plains, taking with him his prize bull. It was my opinion that it was also time that the Brumbies should head in the same general direction. Feels like an early winter coming on, Thara. Shouldn't you think about heading south? It's safer to stay up here, Benny, away from humans. What about food? I know a few sheltered spots where the snow doesn't get too deep. We can dig for grass. <laughs> wombat coming through, wombat coming through. Hi, Wombat. Haven't seen you for a while. What's up? No time for idle chatter. Step aside, step aside, wombat coming through. But how are Mrs. Wombat and the little ones? Are they behaving themselves? Ouch! Out of the way! Out of the way! The only thing I want is to get something to eat before the snow starts falling. There's no doubt about old Wombat. He'll never change. Uh-oh. First snowflakes for the season. for shelter. That was the man's prize bull. He must have escaped from the yard. Well, that means the man will come looking for him. You're right, Boon Boon. We'd best move to higher ground till the man finds him. Are you okay, Benny? Uh, yes, I'm okay, I think. <laughs> Time for childish games, Karawong. What have you got to report? That I have a cold, sire. Caught, as you may well know, in your service. The report. 
report, Karawong, the report. The, the, <coughs> the country is spudded in a pattern of heavy dough. What? The country is spudded in a pattern of the heavy dough. What? <coughs> in a mantle of heavy snow. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Uh, 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 <laughs> peace and serenity. That's what I like about the high country. Um, yep. Peace and serenity. That's what we both like about the high country, don't we, E? Yep, you're right. That's why it's great to be back. Although it's a bit chillier this time of year, it's much more peaceful and serene. You wouldn't believe the multitude of noisy animals they have down south. <laughs> Snorting pigs, braying donkeys, crowing roosters, bleeding sheep, mooing cows, <laughs> honking geese. <laughs> yep, and roaring bulls. I... Is, what's a wild bull doing on the loose in the high country? Definitely no right to be here. He should be driven out. Any animal that could do that would be a hero. But then, of course, he may just leave by himself. And who would know the difference if I said I defeated him in combat and sent him on his way? Then I'd be the hero. <laughs> I might just follow his tracks and see where he goes. Miserable winter here again. Snow and ice. Hunger. Every yummy morsel buried under tons of that white stuff. Oh, what wouldn't I give for a... eyes are better to see. I have a feeling that worm will soon belong to me. What? Oh, gone again? I'll get that half-baked excuse for a piece of string if it's the last thing I... What? Mopoke! Give me back my worm! I saw it first! One of these days, Mopoke, you're gonna go too far and pow! You'll get it right in a kiss on My, that was the largest cow I ever saw. Have you ever heard such a roar? Some cow. Crazy, if you ask me. Oh, the boss will want to know about this. A crazy cow on the loose in the snow. Now, where did that delicious worm of mine go? What? A bull. It's escaped.
shot up you empty headed dickhead. <laughs> high country in winter. Who'd want to be anywhere else? I can think of at least one creature, Boon Boon. Look down there. It's the bull. Pretty cold and miserable from the look of him. He's used to life in the warmer pastures on the lowlands. This early snow must have caught the man unawares. The bull's only hope of survival is to be returned to the man. But I don't think you'll find him up here. And that stubborn creature wouldn't follow us anywhere. It's going to be up to me to lead the man to the ball. <laughs> It's too cold to stand around listening to your idle chatter. Ah, well, that's the way it is, isn't it, your frozen frost bitterness? The older we get, the more we feel the cold. <laughs> oh. I'm not getting old, Karawong, even if you are. Now, what have you got to report? A ah, crazy cow on the loose, sire. Crazy cow? What are you talking about? if this is another of your wild goose chases. Oh, no wild goose chase, mighty sire, I promise you. And I've got the bruises to prove it. Great mad thing it was. Bloodshot eyes, a ring through its nose, puffing and huffing, cruel and fierce beyond belief, rampaging about the high country like a... All right, Karawong, I get the idea. Where is it now? Where? Well, I, I don't know. It went over me like an express train, then took off to who knows where. Then get airborne, Karawong, and don't come back till you do know where. Aye, aye, your imperial uniqueness. Right away. <sighs> no sign of him anywhere, boy. We need to pick up his tracks before more snow falls. It looks like the Silver Brumby, or his ghost. following the trail of a crazy-looking big creature with huge horns and a bad temper. Haven't seen it, have you? Seen it? Are you kidding? <laughs> Flaming thing nearly drowned me, which is precisely why I'm headed in the opposite direction. And if you were smart, you'd do the same. The high country isn't safe with that brute around wombat. I intend driving it out as a selfless service to the creatures of the high country. Aye. Eh? Ho, 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 wombat coming through. Out of me way, Arrow. <laughs> Some creatures. <laughs> hmm. Now, where could that crazy bull have got to? Just as well it's a dark thing against a snowy landscape, or there'd be no chance of... Ah-ha! 
Well, well, well. He's cooled down quite a bit since we last met. I think I'll warm him up with a bit of revenge. <laughs> Bless you, sire. I found him, your self for sure footedness, over by the ram's head. The ram's head? Thower is territory, and trust him to hang around with a crazy cow. Mm, yes, that's right, mighty Brolga. Thower is not too fussy with the company he keeps. That imbecile arrow, that dopey old kangaroo, that silly boon boon. Huh? That's my daughter you're talking about! What? Oh, Boon Boon? Uh, did I say Boon Boon? <laughs> I meant that silly Mrs. Dingo, of course, sire. That's enough out of you, Karawong. Now lead the way to that crazy cow. Right away, El Supremo. <laughs> <laughs> the bull's tracks are headed towards the ram's head. With a bit of luck, he'll bump into Thara and give that smart Alec the thrashing he so richly deserves. Arrow, what's this? Following a track? If I were you, I'd turn and go back. Oh, g'day, Mopoke. I'm not going back anywhere. I'm going to make sure this bull is driven from the high country. I've seen that bull very brave and strong. For you to attempt such a feat would be wrong. Brave and strong? <laughs> Listen, Mopoke, you underestimate my strength and courage. I can make mincemeat of that overblown cow. No sweat. No sweat? No sweat? If you tackle that beast arrow, you'll be needing a vet. <laughs> That's the greatest load of rubbish I ever heard. And I've had enough of you, you stupid bird. Bye. Mincemeat? Oh. That silly horse will be knocked off his feet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's the way, mighty monster masher. You get him. Sire, before he can collect his wits. <laughs> oh, mighty Brolger, I felt that.
was a magnificent charge, El Supremo. You really showed that crazy cow who's boss. Fancy that dummy thinking he could take you on. Not a brain in its head, if you ask me. Talk about... Bull basher. Up and at him, sire! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah, bless you, sire! Ha! <laughs> 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 ah, gotcha, my fine beauty. <laughs> Thanks, ghost horse. Thanks, filly. That's one I owe you. <laughs> The last thing the man would ever have expected was to be saved by two Brumbies. But he was now free to take his prize bull south to warmer pastures. Winter, however, is a hazardous time in the high country, and there are more dangers to be faced yet. Where is everybody? After Thara and Boom Boom had helped save the man, he and his prize bull headed south from the mountains. Thara and Boom Boom stayed on the ram's head to enjoy a few more moments alone before rejoining their own herd. It looks so soft and gentle, doesn't it? And beautiful. It does, but looks can be deceiving. It's just hiding its show of might and cruelty from when we least expect it. We really should get back. We should. It's the fall's first winter, and I wonder what they'll make of it. The snow's already midwinter deep. It's peaceful now. We'd best make the most of it. That's only because you got to jump on me at the start. Shouldn't we keep close to the herd, Urella? We're not far away. Don't worry, I know where we are. Thara's taught me all the landmarks. Hmm. 
OK. There's some great gullies over there. Want to see what they're like with snow? Yeah. Someone's enjoying themselves. Sounds like it. Spying out in this weather with a cold. <laughs> hey, what are you two so happy about? Miserable little mischief makers. Oh, I hope you ca 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 Just scream. Listen, everybody. The weather is worsening in the high country. We're going to move to the foothills to make sure we have good pastures for the long winter months. Follow me. But I'd forgotten how cold the high country can be in winter. Oh, yeah. And the Brolgas accidentally left us behind. Do you know the way to the foothills? Do I know? <laughs> You've come to the right place, girls. I could find my way down there blindfolded. No worries. Oh, my ears are so cold they could snap off. How about showing us the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thinking, girls. OK, follow me. Phew, stop just in the nick of time. <laughs> I'm not so sure. What we have here is one big ice slide. Looks as though it could be fun. Are you game? I don't know. I think we ought to be getting back, and that looks... Come on, Narrabri. We've had fun so far, haven't we? Well, yes, but... Tell you what, we'll just do this last game, and then we'll head back, all right? Well, all right. Great! Whee! <laughs> that was amazing! Come on, Narrabri! Watch out below. Here I come. Whee! That way! Yo! Oh. Ouch! Are you all right? Oh, I don't know. My leg hurts. Do you think you can put any weight on it? Oh, I think I'll be all right. Mm, you better stay here and rest while I go for help. Go for help? Haven't you ever heard of the old saying, look before you leap? Uh, yes. Why? Take a look around. Huh? There must be a way out the other end. I certainly hope so. <laughs> be careful, Urella. Don't you slip too. I'll be all right. You just look after yourself. What have I gotten us into? Bindi 
see. Come on, that's enough. It's time to take shelter for the winter. Your brother's back home waiting for you. Oh, Mum! No arguments. Now. You must have great parents letting you play all the time, not like my mum. Bindi! See you in spring, Wombat. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Hey, you! Hey? Eh? What are you doing out? We're supposed to be hibernating. We all tucked ourselves up soundly in our burrow, ready to sleep till next spring, and you snuck out. Oh, but Father, it isn't really winter yet. It's winter when I say it's winter. Now, are you coming or do I have to go out and get you? Oh, but that... Right, here I come. <laughs> That snow is slippery and... Oh, no! Oh! Help! The ice is breaking up! Somebody help! is too steep. Oh, yeah? We'll soon see about that. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. See what I mean? It's hopeless. Maybe when the sun comes out it might melt and I can climb the rocks. If the sun comes out before we freeze. Don't worry, Narrabri. At the very least, Thaur will find us. He'll get us out. If we're still alive. Help! Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Help someone! Help! 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 Boom Boom, did you hear that? It sounded like Baby Wombat. Whatever is the matter, Baby Wombat? My father, he's... and the ice cracked and... it's all my fault. Well, I gather from that that something's happened to old Wombat at the frozen pond. Boon Boon, can you follow with Baby Wombat while I dash ahead? Go, quick! <laughs> Wombat. Getting cold feet. <laughs> I wouldn't worry if I were you. Just stay there till next summer and you... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> freezing! It's freezing! <laughs> nice day for it, Carolong. <laughs> I wouldn't worry if I were you. Just stay there till next summer. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I don't have to stay here till next summer. Unlike you, you sour old grump. I'm going down, hell! Hey? Oi! What's going on? Put me down! Put me down, you great blithering brumby! Oh! Typical, typical. 
<laughs> You'll be right, Wombat. At least you're safe now. Are you okay, Wombat? Yeah, you okay, Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scale, such an attempt would surely fail. It's just that we're very cold, and Narrabri's legs hurt, and we're... I'll get airborne when the storm clears. Such a promise could dispel your fears. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a real friend. Fresh grass, not buried by snow. Ah, uh, now, just a minute. <laughs> I know the high country like the back of my hoof. There's not a stream or rocky crag, I don't know. Yeah? Then what's that up ahead? Why, well, the ram's head, of course. The ram's head? Oh, we're right back where we started, Arrow. Yeah, you've been leading us in circles. Uh. <laughs> to get back to the protection of the secret valley. Yes. It isn't blowing nearly as hard here. <sighs> but it's still cold. Let's find some shelter. Hey, Urella. The blizzard's over. Wake up. It has, but I'm as stiff as a post. Sleeping on ice isn't my idea of fun. Mopoke, Mopoke, wake up. Eh? Eh? What? What? Ah, do I spy a ray of sun? Life's sure to be much more fun. Mopoke, can you find Sarah now? He may be able to help. The air is clear, so I will go and tell Sarah what I know. Thanks, Mopoke, and hurry. Fancy you being in the foothills. It's winter. Where else would I be? Where else? Oh, indeed. Oh, where else is where Brave Arrow is with two fillies? Two fillies? There are two fillies missing from my herd. Where is he? Somewhere? Or, in his case, nowhere. Not quite nowhere, Mew. He's found out where he is. What are you talking about? Where is he? Lost? Oh, indubitably, eh? That's where he is. Lost somewhere near the ram's head, with two fillies. The ram's head? <laughs> good luck, mighty brother. Yep, good luck. Thara, I've seen no sign of Narrabri or Urella. Have you seen them? No. I hope nothing happened to them in that blizzard. I'm worried. Mopok, so you should be, for they are trapped and cold. But I'll show you where, as I've been told. After you, Mopok. Now that the storm... 
storm's over, surely you can lead us to the foothills, Arrow? Well, uh, everything looks so white when it's covered with snow. Everything looks the same. Zara, do you know the way to the foothills? Move south of the ram's head, then turn left at the creek. <laughs> Thanks, Zara. Ooh, ooh, which way, left or right? I'm becoming as confused as a wind-blown kite. Mopoke, what's going on? Oh, everything looks the same under this snow. It's hard to see which way to go. to drive you from the high country forever. Prepare to fight, or run if you prefer. I have no time for either. Yurella and Narrabri are trapped in a frozen canyon. We must put aside our personal differences so the falls can be saved. Ah, you always have some excuse, Thaura. How do I know you're not lying? Whatever your opinion of me, Brolga, you must know that I have a reputation for keeping my word. Uh, very well but only because I have a rescue mission of my own. That dimwit arrow has got himself lost, along with two fillies from my herd. The fillies are safe, Brolga. I sent them in the right direction, back to your herd. Very well, Thara. For that, I thank you. You may proceed unhindered, just this once. <laughs> How do you like that? Those fillies take off and leave me all alone in an iced up wilderness. No one to care for and no one to care for me. It's all right for Thaura, he's got Boon Boon to look after him. It's so unfair. Help! Help! Huh? Sounds like the foals. Can anyone hear us? Help! What do you reckon became of Mopo, Kirella? Who knows? Maybe he got lost as well. Thaura! Help! What do you mean, Thaura? Huh? Tis I, Brave Arrow, who has come to rescue you. Thaura's off wandering in circles somewhere. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for coming, Arrow. We're stuck at the bottom of this ice floe. Yeah. What ideas do you have for getting us back up? Well, I... Uh, let's see now. It shouldn't be too difficult. I... Uh... Perhaps you should go and get Thaura, Arrow. He may be able to help. Who? Huh? Thaura? I'm the one that's come to rescue you, not Thaura. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Remember, it's all quite clear. The trap folds are up there, well to your rear. <laughs> Thanks, Mopoke. About time. <laughs> Hooray! Good on you, Arrow. You found the way out. Huh? I did? Uh, I, I mean, I did! Ah, uh, Thaura. Late as usual. <laughs> I saved the foals. Yep. Arrow did it, Thaura. He found the way out. <laughs> Congratulations, Arrow. The important thing is, everybody's safe. Hmm. When Arrow's a hero, I'm not so sure. It seems not to blend with nature's law. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the important thing was, as Thaura said, that everyone was safe. It had already been a winter crowded with incidents and rescues. And winter was only a few days old. 
But this winter was going to bring on far worse. It was going to lead to a most unexpected encounter. <laughs>